hello folks so this is the continuation of previous video titled sentiment analysis using web app part 2 of lstm model code there i first showed how to keep the reviews to specific length so that lstm model can process them successfully i also showed how to pad the reviews with uh, you know null values if those are not of desired length and lastly built and trained the uh, lstm model along with calculating the accuracy of model in this video i'm going to cover how to mount your google drive so that you you can save your you know model over there for later use i will also show you how to load the saved model so watch this video till the end to get the complete information Folks, this is Nitit welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all of your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI uh, based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, then consider subscribing to uh, this channel. If you have, if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so let me quickly open my jupyter notebook okay so here's the jupyter notebook and in the in fact uh, first cell i ran few of these uh, code lines in order to install the necessary libraries and perform some authorization when you run the cell you are asked to authenticate yourself by clicking on the link okay uh, so this is the link so when i run this cell uh, this is the link which comes up okay and uh, once you click on this link you are asked to authenticate yourself uh, which uh, basically first of all it directs you to a separate page and the page is looks like this okay uh, where it provides a one-time access code which is this code okay so you can click on this particular uh, uh, section here to copy this code okay and then you can paste that code into a text box so when you click on this a text box is also provided here you can provide that code into that um, the access code in, into that text box and then it will authenticate you okay so once you are authenticated you will get a message something like this okay access token retrieved correctly okay so in the next cell i mounted uh, the google drive uh, using these two set of commands okay here as you can see here so these two set of commands i uh, can be used to mount the drive google drive okay in the next cell uh, uh, after I successfully ran the fuse program, I created a sentiment analysis uh, directory by using mkdir command here. Okay, so I created the sentiment analysis directory into this location location slash content slash drive using mkdir command. In the next line, I used uh, this uh, change directory command. Okay, to change my directory to this particular directory slash content slash drive okay and when i uh, in fact uh, i used this ls command here uh, which is used basically ls command is used to list out the directory uh, you know list out the content inside a specific directory so it will show you all the files subfolders inside this directory which is drive directory uh, if you use this ls command please note uh, that i used os library here okay here you can see uh, to perform some of these operations okay uh, in the next cell uh, let me scroll down so in the next cell i'm appending the directory uh, slash content slash drive slash sentiment analysis using sys.path.append command in order to make sentiment analysis directory as the current directory to fetch any content from there as well as save any file in this directory okay uh, so that's the command we use for that purpose 
and in the next cell i am saving our model with the name sentiment analysis uh, model new dot h5 here h5 is a hdf5 format or hierarchical data format this file format is used to store high dimensional uh, scientific data now this file is being stored in uh, this particular location okay slash content slash drive slash sentiment analysis directory now when i ran this uh, cell the file got saved to this location this is specific location okay and you can see uh, in the next cell okay here in the next cell you can see i used os.chdir and ls uh, commands to see the content inside this sentiment analysis directory okay and yes you can see uh, that our model file got saved there because when i ran this ls command to list out the content inside this directory you can see that it provided the output sentiment analysis model new dot h5 that means our file is stored there okay now saving the model is necessary because nobody wants to run all the st steps including training uh, steps again and again. So rather you can just uh, save the model and invoke it whenever or wherever you require them later on. Now if you want to load the saved model then you can use the load underscore model method uh, passing the directory location okay, and the name of the file as an argument okay and this uh, by running this cell uh, you, your model is uh, gets loaded and this will be the value so now you can use this to uh, you know do some predictions or uh, perform some predictions on the uh, on this model okay because now model is our uh, model is loaded so now you can do all sort of things with this loaded model uh, like doing predictions etc okay so folks this is it for this video um to in to conclude i continued uh, showing you the remaining lstm code and explained how to mount our google drive as well as uh, created the directory in the uh, drive okay and saving uh, our lstm model into that drive i also showed how can we load our LSTM model and use it for predictions? So folks, let me ask you a question from this uh, video. Uh, what is the command I used for listing out the content of a directory or a folder? Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you're watching this video and you're not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.